still it was recorded because i heard that uh, voice also when you yes sir uh, it uh, it was recorded and i stopped recording also it said uh, uh, it will be in the uh, icloud then i was searching it in the icloud but i couldn't see it uh, i have to i'll check again sir check, check. okay so yesterday we have seen stress right yes sir the restoring force for unit cross sectional area of the body that is linear stress and the pressure impressed on a fluid will be the bulk stress <clears throat> the tangential force per unit area of the face on which area of the face on which the force acts tangentially that is the shear stress so these definitions yesterday we did and we will continue with that today <clears throat> this was the page yesterday we were doing right yes sir yes sir so three stresses we defined <clears throat> now the stress impressed on a body in a body causes strain <clears throat> so now we have to define strain strain means the change in dimensions produced in a body per unit dimensions of it so that is the definition of strain i repeat the change in dimensions produced in a body per unit original dimensions <clears throat> unit original dimensions of it is called the strain so the formula for strain is change in dimensions same words i am putting in formula produced by the original dimensions of a body original or actual dimensions of the body so because we have three different stresses we have three different strains so we have linear strain caused by linear stress volume or bulk strain caused by bulk stress and shear strain caused by shear stress so these are the three different types of strains now let us come back to this diagram e is the increase in length l is the original length correct ah yes sir yes sir yes sir change in length is e original length is l therefore linear strain is e by l or delta l by l correct ah yes sir yes next volume or bulk strain yes similar way 
चेंज इन वॉल्यूम बाय ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम हो ना यस सर डेल्टा वी वाई एंड बिकॉज व्हेन एवर यू इंक्रीज द प्रेशर वॉल्यूम डिक्रीजेस सो देयर विल बी अ नेगेटिव साइन फॉर दिस and here coming to the shear strain is the angle through which the body is laterally displaced within the elastic limits this angle will be very small hence we can approximate it to tan theta so which will be equal to in the triangle bc c1 Uh, d is the perpendicular distance between the two parallel layers x is the lateral displacement so it is cc1 by bc antha na yes sir that is nothing but x by d <clears throat> so the shear strain i am writing separately here is measured in terms of angle through which the one of the faces of the body is laterally displaced because this theta is small within the elastic limits this is tan theta so cc1 by bc this is x by d so i am explaining x x is lateral displacement of one of the two parallel layers of the body under the action of tangential force d perpendicular distance between the two parallel layers so these are the three different strains we define and we could write the formula so i have why i told you that i will be retaining these diagrams so that we need not do the work again i think you have not copied this na yesterday sir sir i copied sir okay one see sir yes sir i copied sir okay then you take the straight path stress impressed in a body results or causes strain फार्मला लास्ट में रहा सर वन मिनट सर यस सर यस सर डांस सर ओके completed eh yes sir <coughs>
आई बिन अम्मा यस सर यस सर आई बिन कम से कंप्लीट डा यस सर डन सर ओके गुड Yeah, just remember this. This is uh, the first page, which referred about the force <coughs> changes produced. Then uh, we categorized into balanced and unbalanced forces. Then we came to the conclusion that balanced forces results in deformation. Unbalanced forces accelerate the body. So our point of interest is deforming forces. <coughs> then based on the action of deforming forces body is exhibit three different properties elasticity plasticity brittleness then we introduced the concept of restoring force the atomic or molecular interactions will arise the restoring force cohesive and adhesive so this is what we said cohesive force means same kind of atoms or molecules will attract with cohesive force even i gave the examples adhesive force different kinds of atoms or molecules will attract with the adhesive force <clears throat> so here the cohesive forces between the atoms or molecules will try to hold them at their mean positions and whenever the deformation deforming force is acting the atoms get slightly dis uh, displaced causing minimum deformation and once the deforming force is withdrawn then the restoring force will uh, take the body back to the original shape and size i have given the examples we define elasticity then plasticity brittleness elasticity bodies will regain their shape and size after the external forces are withdrawn plasticity the body remains in new dimensions after the even after withdrawing the external uh, 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 deforming forces and brittleness the body simply breaks without exhibiting either plasticity or elasticity so that is called brittleness then we introduce the concept of stress restoring force per uh, unit cross sectional area of the body then we class categorize the stress into linear or tensile stress volume or bulk stress shear stress we wrote the units and even dimensional formula and we studied the different types of stresses today we have studied the different types of strains linear stress linear strain bulk stress bulk strain shear stress shear strain this is what we did so far now the very important one uksla so robert hook studied <coughs> the relation between uh, the stress and strain and of course it is not a universal law it is valid only under certain conditions that is we have to define elastic limit because the uxla is valid only within the elastic limits so what is this elastic limits it is the maximum stress that can be impressed on the body within which up to which the body retains elasticity that is elasticity is exhibited by the body as long as the stress impressed is less than or equal to this maximum value of the stress that is called elastic limit you can write the definition please
elastic limit definition. The maximum stress <clears throat> the maximum stress that can be impressed on a body within which <clears throat> within which the body retains within which the body retains the elasticity <clears throat> within which the body retains the elasticity he is called the elastic limit he is called the elastic limit now let us see the you can mention this elasticity will be there only as long as the stress impressed is less than or equal to maximum value now the next is the statement of hooke's law yeah please write the statement within the elastic limits of a body <coughs> within the elastic limits of a body the strain produced in it the strain produced in it <clears throat> varies directly as varies directly as the stress impressed in it varies directly as the stress impressed in it that is strain varies directly as stress <coughs> or stress is equal to some constant multiplied by so the constant chosen here is represented as e therefore the proportionality constant e is equal to stress by strain this is only called as elastic constant or modulus of elasticity or elastic modulus so how to define this <clears throat> if strain produced in a body is one then e is equal to stress so the stress impressed in a body per unit strain produced in it is called the elastic constant or elastic modulus please write the formula first <clears throat> take this then definition write the definition please the stress impressed in a body
द स्ट्रेस इम्प्रेस्ड इन ए बॉडी पर यूनिट स्ट्रेन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इट द स्ट्रेस इम्प्रेस्ड इन ए बॉडी पर यूनिट स्ट्रेन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इट is called <coughs> the elastic modulus is called the elastic modulus now as a unit so strain has no units and no dimensional formula of course even uh, <coughs> shear strain if you consider because we said theta again it becomes tan theta means tan theta is a number no units so e will have the same units and same dimensional formula of stress simple so the si unit is newton meter to the power of minus 2 or pascal cgs dynes per centimeter square we gave the relation also 1 pascal is 1 newton no meter to the power of minus 2 is 10 times per centimeter square and even dimensional formula also we wrote ml inverse t to the power of minus 2 okay yes sir yes sir completed huh? yes sir yes sir done sir hmm. now we have three types of stresses linear stress volume or bulk stress shear stress and we have corresponding strains linear strain <coughs> bulk strain shear strain so corresponding to these three stresses and the respective strains we have three moduli of elasticity please write that point corresponding to corresponding to three different stresses corresponding to three different stresses and the respective strains and the respective strains there are three moduli of elasticity <coughs> there are three moduli of elasticity they are y k and n y k and n so i am explaining them look here it was named after thomas young who experimentally uh, determined the young's modulus of a wire so young's modulus represented by y bulk modulus represented by k
rigidity <coughs> modulus or shear modulus n so these are the three different moduli <coughs> Young's modulus is linear stress <coughs> by linear strain. Bulk modulus K is volume stress by volume strain rigidity modulus shear stress by shear strain now <coughs> linear stress restoring force per unit cross sectional area So linear stress is F R by A and linear strain is E by L. Bulk stress is P. Bulk strain is delta V by V. Shear stress is F by A. Shear strain is theta. <coughs> So we are going to substitute those formulae. So y is equal to f by a by delta l by l. <coughs> huh? This is FL by A into delta L. Similarly, P by minus delta V by V <laughs> or K is equal to minus PV by delta V and N is equal to F by A by theta. So, F by A into theta or F by D, F into D by A into X. In case of a cubical body, D is equal to A <coughs> side of the cube, you know, distance between any two surfaces is nothing but side. Face area is A square. So for a cube, what formula you will get? F into A by A square into X. Therefore, for a cube, the formula for rigidity modulus is A into X. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. A is the side. X is the lateral displacement of one of the two parallel layers of the body. This is exclusively for a cube. Then, <coughs> here, F is equal to FR is equal to deforming force. So, if a load W is equal to mg is attached to the wire 
with circular cross section then a of course will be pi r square correct yes sir r is the radius so what will be the formula for young's modulus y is equal to <coughs> yes it is mg l by pi r square into delta l then you can get some ratios based on this and coming to this a body is taken <coughs> into a motion of depth h such that the increase in pressure from the surface to the depth will be given by h into rho into g where rho is the density of the ocean water or any other liquid therefore the bulk modulus can be calculated using the formula H into rho into g multiplied by volume of the body by change in volume. Normally, change in volume they will ask for this. <clears throat> so these are all the for, uh, formulae which normally will be getting problems based on this. And formula for y can be written as f into l by a into y. so these are the three moduli of elasticity and then we have completed a yes sir yes sir one see sir one minute sir mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Done, sir. Okay. What is the time now? Another math class. Okay. Another ten minutes. Yes, sir. Minutes. Okay. Sir. <clears throat> one more constant is there i am going to give you that this is a y whose diameter is d and l is the length now it is act upon by deforming force of course restoring force will be activated and as a result of that the length of the wire will increase so when the length of the wire is increasing there will be compression laterally yes or no you take a thick rubber band and stretch it by holding it both the hands no doubt the length increases but you will find the rubber band becoming more and more thinner yes sir yes yes or no yes sir therefore yes, sir. here there will be two strains
one is linear <coughs> elongational strain second one is lateral contractional strain <coughs> then Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shift. Come Yes, sir. So D dash is the new diameter such that delta D will be the decrease in diameter. Kada? Yes, sir. And delta L increase in length. So, linear elongational strain means it is delta L by L. Lateral contractional strain means delta D by D. We'll keep negative sign to this, right? When length is increasing, diameter is decreasing and vice versa. <coughs> so, experimentally, It is proved that lateral contractional strain varies directly as linear elongational strain. Rubber band to clala clear ga del sunni. Ekko saal ki se kothi baga samma hai ipo thun thundi. Kaise aur thei pothi guda. Ana kada? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. So experimentally, it is proved that. The lateral contractional strain varies directly as linear elongational strain. Negative sign means both are in, both have got one is expansion, other is the contraction. So if you want to remove this proportionality, you have to multiply this with a constant. So where this constant is minus of delta d by d by delta l by l <clears throat> this is called as poison's ratio what do you call poison's ratio sir. poison's ratio so its theoretical value will be minus 12.5 practical value <coughs> will be 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 okay correct or wrong Yes, sir. And the last point, extinction of it. You know, a wire of length L and diameter D has a volume V is equal to pi R square L is equal to pi d square by 4 into L. Then, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it is yes, sir. Delta V by V will be differential method 2 into delta R by R plus delta L by L. Of course, Delta R by R is nothing but delta D by D. Yes, sir. So, but what is delta D by D or delta R by R equals to minus sigma into delta L by L? Yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Minus sigma into delta L by L plus delta L by L. Therefore, the volume strain in terms of linear strain can now be written as 1 minus 2 sigma into delta L by L. Very important relation. Okay, ma? Lord Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Till last. Yes, sir. Sir, could, uh, uh, volume V is equal to pi R square L uh, is equal to pi into uh, D square by four. D square by four, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. R is equal to D by two, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. Completed together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. So tomorrow we'll uh, do a few more things related to elasticity. Okay, sir. Including strain energy. And relation between uh, the three moduli also it's there. In the syllabus it's not there, but we'll be doing it as a precautionary measure. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. Right, ma'am. Take care. Bye. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay.